Hello, and in this video, we're going to talk about why there may be a crypto market recession in 2022. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please hit the like button and subscribe. And yeah, I'm gonna be posting a lot more than I have recently. I know that I haven't posted in a long time, so I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot more. So why might the crypto market be seeing a recession? The reason why the crypto market might be seeing a recession is most likely because investors have been lowering their risk, which has led to this huge NFT crash. And this huge NFT crash could be an indicator of a crypto market crash. No, God! No, God, please, no! Usually now, the crypto market is starting to resemble a lot more uh, of the stock market than it has in previous years. Now, the reason why this is important is because if the stock market tends to crash, in the near future, then so will the crypto market, according to recent estimates made by certain experts. And along with this, many of the top NFT projects, such as the Board Eight Yacht Club and uh, Mutant, have been declining tremendously over the last few months. Um, Mike Majlak has actually posted a video where he actually took out a loan that's hedged against NFTs using a JPEG lending platform. Um, if you want to go see that video, go check it out. But basically, he's buying a house with the the money that he's using, uh, the loan he's getting against his NFT. So obviously, we're seeing a lot of new things happening in this new space. And I think that a lot of investors are losing confidence with crypto. So we might be seeing a, a, a even stronger recession in the near future. And a lot of people are liquidating their NFTs at the current moment and they're selling them for less, lowering the floor price. And this and this constant cycle of death is going to um, cause a huge collapse, uh, at least uh, as told by experts. Um, NFT, NFTs could lead to the downfall of Ethereum and that could actually collapse the entire crypto market because Ethereum is the cryptocurrency that backs up a lot of these projects. So if the NFTs are losing a lot of value, then so will Ethereum. And then Ethereum, since it has such a big role in the crypto space, it can actually cause a, a large decline in the crypto market, in the crypto market. So this is big news, um, but we've seen volatility before. So we always know that buy and hold is always the best strategy. So always make sure to, um, to not let fear panic, panic you and you should never sell um, too early. My favorite stock is NASDAQ. Now at the current moment, Bitcoin is selling for roughly 21 to 22,000 and it's actually down 9% this month. Uh, and Ethereum is actually up 7% this month, currently selling at around $16,000. Um, but it's been down 14% in the past five days. Now, according to time.com, there are many experts that, will, that believe that the over economy is is causing might be seeing a recession due to rising interest rates as well as the war in ukraine and right now inflation is actually at its 40-year peak so it's really making me nervous that you're doing <laughs> that's definitely a lot of bad indicators happening all at the same time which are all causing this downward trend in the economy overall now as i said before there is no reason to worry because we all know that in the near future Coins like Bitcoin will be able to reach 100,000 at least as predicted. So there's no need to worry about the short term volatility because we know that in five to 10 years, maybe 15 years, that uh, Bitcoin will have recovered. This is much like 2017. And um, as you see, there's always going to be bull runs and, um, and then bearish markets. But another big thing that's causing a lot of volatility in crypto right now is actually China's repression on crypto services. So China has actually been cracking down on a lot of crypto services, and that's causing a lot of um, uh, that's causing a lot of investors to push away from crypto. Um, and another factor to consider is that a lot of stable coins such as Luna and Terra have actually um, collapsed entirely because uh, because of the loss of investor confidence and. This basically caused them to this cause these stable coins to not be stable, right? So that that in itself causes less investor confidence. So this cycle that is very dangerous. 
Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but in other parts of the video, I talked about some sort of cycle, and I think that's important to realize because much like in much like many times, much like how we see in bull runs, uh, much like how a an economy can can exponentially increase, it can also exponentially decrease. So what should you be doing right now? At the current moment, um, the best thing you could be doing if you want to invest in the cryptocurrency space is most likely investing in large cryptocurrencies such as Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and even Binance. Now, the reason why I say this is because right now you don't want to be investing in anything that can't survive this bear market. You want to invest in something that is going to stay steady during the during the bear market and able, able to rise exponentially to all time highs in the future. So things like how I said, Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and right now the important thing is to focus on dollar cost averaging um and basically what that means is you invest um you you basically average out the amount of investment that you make so even if the next month cryptocurrency falls 40 percent, you will invest you will invest some of your money that month anyway so you're always catching crypto even at its lowest points and at its highest points so you're always investing at every single moment now at a certain point you're going to see tremendous increases because you will have invested at a, a you will have invested at a good time which is now you should take advantage that the crypto market is low right now and if you can get in and if, if you can survive this bear market then you'll see uh, huge returns in the future anyways if you enjoyed this video and you're looking to get into cryptocurrency then make sure to subscribe and um, yeah i look forward to seeing you guys in the near future let me know what you guys want me to post about and yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Peace.